Good morning, you're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. I'm in Tucson, Arizona, at the Ritz-Carlton Dove Mountain, at the FEI Group Floor Expo meeting, and I'm with Larry Barr, President and CEO of Floors, Inc. Larry, how you doing? I'm doing good, Kemp. How are you? I'm great. You're the head of Floors, Inc. Most people know of your company. It's based in Dallas. You focus in the builder market, and you have public numbers, so I think at the end of last year, you did around $98 million in revenue? That's about right. Uh-huh. Give us a little bit more flavor for exactly what the company does. Well, first, we're an employee-owned company. We service builders, big ones, little ones, uh, custom ones throughout the state of Texas in Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, Austin, San Antonio. We have design centers in each of those cities. We also have nine Carpet One retail stores in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We've been in business since around 1983. The original owner of that was Randy Pack. He uh, sold it to the employees back in the early 90s, and we have since taken it from there. How did you get in the business, you personally? Uh, you know, just as a kid leaving New England, I came down uh, following an older brother, started working at a, at World Carpet, which was gobbled up later on by Aladdin and Mohawk and whatnot. And, you know, once you're in this business camp, you seem never to get out of it. So I've been doing this since 1976 and have enjoyed it ever since. You know, when we think about the builder business and we think about Texas, it's probably one of the strongest markets. Why is that? Well, you get a lot of reasons in Texas. The environment is mostly perfect for builder. The uh, business environment is uh, very strong for pro-business activity. A lot of people moving down there, a lot of corporations coming in, lots of land, and up until recently, a lot of labor. You know, when we have talked to economists and they've told us that they thought housing was going to do this, I think this year the number was they thought it was going to be 20 percent growth. It's ended up being 10 percent. I know it's an anomaly in Texas, but across the country, why do you think we've not seen the housing starts that everybody was predicting? You know, there's probably several good reasons, and I read the same journals that you do. The younger folks are are probably not looking to to buy houses at this time. I think we refer to them as the millennials. They're they're staying at home. The apartments, the inner city type thing. Home ownership is not dealt with the same way as it was when we were younger. What we're seeing now is more step-up homes being sold, less entry-level homes being sold, and the people that have them are wanting something bigger and better type of deal. Interest rates are still incredibly low. You know, money is still cheap out there. So we still anticipate a good run ahead of us. Mm -hmm. All right. So as you look at your business, what are some of the challenges you face? You know, our challenges are like everybody else's in this country. And and there are two predominant challenges, and labor is one of them. There's just not enough during our recession. They took off, and I don't blame them, and have not returned. So labor is definitely a concern as far as how much production you can get. And the other one is what the builders are seeing. It's not just flooring labor. It's labor to do the entire house. And if you don't have it, you can't build them. And, and what happens is, is that the, the disorganization that comes along with not having enough labor from framers to carpenters to, to bricklayers causes scheduling issues. Uh, so even if you have the labor, sometimes you're wasting it when things aren't ready. And I'll say this because I say this within our company all the time. It's not a terrible problem for us to have compared to what we went through back in the soft days. It's easier to hire than it is to fire, right? Absolutely. And and when you're running at at capacity, uh, supply and demand come kind of step in. For the first time that I've seen, the economical model does work, so you're able to get a little bit more for your product. Is there a solution, especially for this installer labor issue? There is, and I think the industry is beginning to realize it. We have to train people. We have to make this accessible installation. We have to have a pipeline. It probably won't be during my time, but the age of a carpet installer is is 40 years old. There's no young ones coming up. Uh, what we have to do is find the uh, the folks that want to do this and find them a way into this industry. And then it is beginning to happen. I, I think the whole industry realizes that we're not going to get any better if we don't start having more crews. Yeah, I'm asking this question, and I know you don't have any numbers in front of you, but I'm just curious. We've talked a lot lately about this shift away from carpet, and that's happening in Texas as well, isn't it? Absolutely. We still do predominantly, probably 50% of our material is uh, carpet, but we're seeing much, much more hard surface and better end hard surface. You know, the Southwest is, is king when it comes to tile and stone. So what is your outlook? You just mentioned a minute ago you thought uh, since it's been growing slowly, it may grow for a longer period of time. You think the outlook for the next couple of years is going to be kind of consistent with what we're seeing today? I do. Unless there's something that we can't control, some some catastrophic event, we see, or the same thing I'm reading, is that we're going to continue to see a, a nice continuing 
growth in our business, and I think it's, it's hard to predict beyond six months, but everything I see and everything I talk to about seems to be that we have a few years of this at least. And we're at the FEI Group Floor Expo. How many years have you been a member, and what do you get out of it? You know, this group is, a, is an amazing group of folks. Uh, we were in this thing, uh, I think we weren't the original eight. We were like the ninth player in this deal. And we've always thought that it's better to be inside than outside because information is key to success. And these folks, it's run by a, sh- a small group of hard-working folks. What I tell everybody, it's not about the money and the rebates because you get those anyway. It's about the networking because you're never as smart as you think you are. And, and if I can promise you we always come away with something that we have learned from somebody else, whether they do less than we do or more than we do. It, it is good to be around people that have the same issues and the same concerns that you do every day. All right, Larry, it's great to be with you again. been talking to Larry Barr, President and CEO of Floors, Inc., based in Dallas, and you've been listening to Kemp Har and FloorDaily.net.